Good morning, everyone. It's Kayla with the Celebration Company. Happy Tuesday morning. Hope everyone's having a fabulous morning so far. It's rainy and yucky and nasty here, as per usual. But that's all right. We're surviving. Um, so when you hop on, say hey. Let me know you're watching. Where am I at? Here we are. Okay. Hello, Donna. Hey, Brenda. Hey, Darla. Hello, Jennifer. Good morning, y'all. Hey, Annie. So, I'm going to make some strawberries today, and I am going to use some Easter eggs. Okay, I've got a couple different sizes of Easter eggs, and we're going to make a few strawberries. This would be perfect if you are decorating with strawberries for summer to put in a tiered tray. This would be absolutely adorable. Absolutely adorable. Um, let's see who I've missed. Hey, Phyllis. Hello, Misty and Dorothy. She says it's finally sunshine in, in Ohio. That is fabulous. I am happy for you. Hey, Tina. Hey, Crystal. Thank you so much, Crystal. Hey, Cheryl and Amy and Deborah and Linda and Angel and Marjorie and Susan and Cindy and... Marie, hey Terry and Darlene and Patricia and Terry Krause um, from Indiana. Hi Susie and Irma and Barb and Darlene. Hello Melissa. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you enjoyed it, Melissa. All right, y'all. Hello to everyone. Denmark is in the house. Um, Carolyn says she is doing a strawberry tear tray. Well, this will be perfect for you. This will be absolutely perfect. Trisha said we have someone from Denmark. I'm so glad to have you. All right, y'all. Let's hop into it. Good morning, y'all. Um, oh, fun, Crystal. That's a great idea. She said she's made watermelons from Easter eggs. Love that. All right, so here's what we've got. I've got two different sizes. So these right here came from Michael's. And then I have these here, which I believe came from Hobby Lobby last year. I had already painted them. Um, we're going to just paint right over them. Um, and then I've got two options for the topper. I've got some felt. And then I also, because I don't have a lot of this, I have two little um, double leaves, okay, from off of flowers. All right, so you could go to the Dollar Tree and just buy some cheap flowers and just steal the leaves off of it if you wanted to. And that would be um, pretty easy to do. And then the other thing that I'm going to use are I've got these little bitty tiny flowers. Thank you, Lisa. I'm glad you liked the pig. Um, I've got these little tiny flowers I'm going to add to the strawberries. I think they're going to be really cute. So, um, and I wish I had like a medium size, but I don't. I just have those. So we're going to stick with that. Nuri, I'm glad you're able to watch. So let's start with painting our strawberries red. So I'm just using bright red by Apple Barrel. Okay. Just going to do bright red. And I think that I want to see if I can figure out a way to make life a little easier on me to paint these. So let's see if we can get a little creative here. I'm going to grab a nail. I know with these I can do it or, or maybe actually, actually, let me just change my mind here. I'll change my mind. I'm going to grab a skewer or a dowel or something like that. doesn't really matter. You can reuse it after you're done. I think I'm going to grab these dowels. And we're going to glue them to the bottom of the egg. So generally your egg goes this way. For the strawberry, it's going to be upside down. And we're going to glue it to the bottom with just some hot glue. Um, so that it's not permanent. We can just pop it right back off when we're done. So I'm just going to take a little dot of glue and stick my 
you my little dowel right there on the top. Hi, Lisa from Paducah, one of my favorite towns in Kentucky. Hello, Kathy. Thank you, Cindy. Yes, my curtains are sheets, actually. Believe it or not, twin sheets. Okay, so just something like that. And hopefully that'll be enough to kind of hold it long enough for me to paint them. So, and then I can just kind of stand them up inside a jar or something. I'll have to see what I can find. Actually, I see what I'm gonna grab. Over here. Yeah, it's that glass jar up underneath that desk. Over on the other side, yeah. This here? Yeah. <clears throat> Michelle, I do not know. I, I just don't know. It just sometimes comes to me. Okay. Do the same thing for these. Good morning, Anne in Myrtle Beach. I'm so jealous that you live there. I am dying to go to the beach. Dying. Mary Lee Davis, you could definitely put them in some foam. Absolutely. But what I'm going to do is just kind of stand them up in a tall jar. Um, I think that'll just be, I don't have any foam laying around that I can just stick them in. So but you could do something like that. Amy, I, all they are are sheets, just twin sheets. I have a video on how I did the sheets, actually. Um, but all it is is just folded over. On the Facebook page? Yes, there is one on the Facebook page. So this right here is the bottom of the sheet, not the top end, but the bottom end. And it's just folded down to the right length and then ironed. And then I also have a... Um, I did something with the curtain rings as well, and I have something on the Facebook page about that too. It's super duper easy though. Y'all, you can get those sheets at, um, I actually have those in my living room as well. That's what's in my living room. You can get those sheets. I think they're like $6 and something at Walmart. They're just flat twin sheets super inexpensive super inexpensive okay i think we got them so they don't have to be like super super you know just enough to hold it so we can get them painted Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna grab my red and we'll just start by just coating them in red. Probably have to do a couple of coats. Oh, Susan, I'm sure they're nice, absolutely. Okay, I'm gonna start with the big ones because those will be easiest. And for the top, um, with the top, you know, we're going to be covering that up. So you're not, don't need to be too concerned with how the, the top of the strawberry looks. But this is going to be super easy. All right, look at that. First coat on our first one, it's done. So I'm just sticking it right inside my little jar like this. Hello, mom. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, nice up here. Yep. Finally straightened up the playroom, y'all. Oh, Went through and organized, got rid of stuff. 
I told Trisha, I said, I went through, I got rid of a bunch of stuff. Um, I could probably go through and do it a second time. I know I could. <coughs> Happy Tuesday, Fran. Here's that one. No, Melissa Griffin does not get school days off for Easter. He had spring break. Um, not last week, but the week before they had spring break. What are those eggs made of? Are just plastic? So these eggs here are almost like um, plaster of Paris kind of, the smaller ones. The larger ones are maybe plastic. I think, I think they are plastic is what the larger ones are. And they're from, I got those from Michael's. You could also probably use just regular old Easter eggs, plastic ones, just glue them together so that they stay together and then use some um, chalk paint to paint them first to keep the paint from sticking. Oh, you did at home? All right, hopefully my eggs don't fall off my uh, dowels as I dry them. Oh, yay, Terry, I'm glad you found that. Oh, no, Ethel. Well, good grief, Ethel. I hope that gets better soon. We're getting ready to reduce our bathroom. Oh, fun, Lori. What do we think? Are they already starting to look a little bit like a strawberry? <laughs> Y'all, speaking of eggs, I think we've had this discussion on here before about hard-boiled eggs and um, how to get the shells to peel off easily. Well, I, I know that I think I've heard people tell me this, but I have found the trick. And ever since I've been doing this, I have not had one issue. So I always have made them the same way. And that is, I start with cold eggs, cold water. I bring it to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, I shut the heat off and put the lid on and I let them sit there for 10 minutes. Really? After the 10 minutes is up, what I would typically do is dump the hot water out and cover it with cold water. What I've started doing instead is after I dump the cold, the hot water out, I'll put the lid back on and give it a little shake to kind of start breaking the uh, shells a little bit. Then I take it to the refrigerator and I fill it plumb full of ice. So much ice so that when I put water in, the ice does not completely melt. There's still ice in there to make the ice, the water like ice, ice cold. Michelle, thank you for the stars. So I let them cool until they're ice, ice cold. And then those shells have peeled no problems at all. And I'm talking like I've even had new eggs, fresh eggs from the market, from the market, from the grocery store. Um, and I have not had any issues peeling them and it's been wonderful. So ice, ice, cold water. 
and shake them in the pot after they're cooked. All right, this is probably gonna need three coats, I would say. So um, Kimberly says, now you need to make some lemons too. So here's the thing with lemons. Dollar Tree sells them. <laughs> yeah. So um, there's really no point in making lemons when you can get them at the Dollar Tree. Can you use the styrofoam eggs to do this? No. I don't think that the styrofoam eggs would work very well because you're going to see that texture. I mean, I guess you could try it. I guess you could try it. I mean, it's not going to hurt anything to try it and see what it would look like. How do you keep them from cracking when coloring eggs? I do not know. I don't ever have any issues with that, honestly. We're supposed to do that on Saturday color eggs. You didn't paint those first with chalk paint, did you? No, I was talking about when, if you use just regular Easter eggs, like you would fill. Oh, the colored ones. Yes, because they're plastic, you would need to um, paint them first with chalk paint. That's acting as kind of like your primer coat because chalk paint will adhere to plastic. These that are plastic that are from Michaels are meant to be painted. So they don't have that sort of shiny like finish that um, regular plastic eggs have. Thank you so much, Michelle. Hopefully three coats will be the trick. We'll see. I know they probably look close to y'all, but they're not quite there yet. Jenny, you could absolutely do Mod Podge as well. Either way, that'll, that should work just fine. Oh, that sounds fun. Did Ethel say that about dyeing her um, deviled eggs? Yes. So you're you're dyeing the actual egg. How did you? Do, how are you going to do that, Ethel? I did not put any white. These were already white. So I didn't do any white and they were on um, paintable surfaces. So I didn't worry about doing any kind of um, primer coat. Okay. Imagine if we did not put these on sticks, this would be a little bit difficult. Hopefully this will be Good enough. Hopefully. Where'd you get your brush? I don't know. I do not know, honestly, y'all, where the brush came from. She's going to dye the white part after she peels out, peels and takes the yellow out. So how do you, do you just take the, the white part and just dip it in and your, just dip it in your coloring? Yeah. Huh. Scott running around the house. 
Hello, whoever's here from Scotland. I missed your name. Natural dye for eggs. Oh yeah, beet juice for sure. Have y'all seen, my mother-in-law shared this the other day on um, Facebook. And they took eggs, they were making deviled eggs. And instead of hard boiling them, they um, separated the eggs. So they did... Uh, separated all the yolks and all the whites and put each one individually into a mini muffin pan. Okay, so they did um, 12 eggs. And so they did 12 of the little mini pans with one egg white and then 12 of the little mini pans with one egg yolk. And they baked it in the oven. I don't know what the cooking times were or anything like that. And um, they baked it. And when it came out, it was like this little, almost like this little cupcake of whites. And they took all the yolks out and then mixed them up and made the deviled egg filling. And then piped it onto the top of those little egg whites. And it looked like little deviled egg cupcakes. It was the cutest thing ever. They were so, so cute, y'all. I thought that was such a great idea. Okay. Teresa, hello, my weekend was good. Thank you for asking. They're not perfect. They could still probably use another coat or two. Red just does not cover very well at all. Yay, Tina, I'm so glad you're following. Thank you. Hello, Judy. Okay. All right, y'all. I'm going to do one more Coke. I'm sorry. I just need to do one more Coke. So y'all bear with me. Y'all bear with me and let me do one more Coke. And then that's all. I'm going to quit after that. I'm going to call it quit. So, um, it's not my mother-in-law's recipe. She, it was a video on Facebook that she shared and I don't know, like I said, I watched it, but I didn't like write down the details. You might be able to Google it and find it. It does Lynn. It does cover better. Chalk paint does cover better, um, than acrylic. So if you have red chalk paint that you want to use, absolutely use chalk paint. But I um, didn't have any red chalk paint. So that's why I'm going with the acrylic. That's what I've got. Oh, that sounds like fun, Terry. You say when they do red, they use a, a primer with paint first. Yeah, I could see that. Okay, there we go. Let's try these one last time. 
I don't blame them, Annie. That's one of my favorite things, too. That is one of my favorite things, too. Huh? A craft challenge? <laughs> I would be down. Brenda, I have not done anything to them other than paint them. So these are just some paintable eggs that I had. And we just glued them onto the end of a dowel just to help us with painting. We're going to be removing the dowels. But um, we're going to be covering that part up where we glued the dowel on. So we're not really worried about that. We are making strawberries out of Easter eggs. So we've just painted them. We've done four coats of red paint. I'm using Apple Barrel's Bright Red. They do look like Christmas lights. I sort of thought the same thing. I bet you can make Christmas lights out of these. I bet you totally could. Okay. We got those covered. All right, here's what they look like. All right, let me grab. What we want to do now is do the white part. And I'm going to find, somebody sent me, here it is right here, one of these little things to do dots. So I'm going to use the smallest one and grab some white acrylic paint. And we're just gonna make dots all over. Um, actually, it needs to be black, doesn't it? Yeah, I wonder what you was doing with the white. I don't know, I'm crazy. Black acrylic paint. The eggs are, um, these here are like plaster of Paris kind of eggs. They're from Hobby Lobby. And then these are plastic, but they were paintable plastic from um, Michael's. Okay. That didn't take long. Nope. Tammy says brown. Is it brown or black? I'm going to Google it. Maybe they are brown now. Seeds. Strawberry. They're very, very faint. And they are sort of a brown, aren't they? Kind of like a light. I mean, in in pictures, like if you look at um a clip art, there are some with white. There are some with black, and there are some that are kind of a golden color. So, I think it's just kind of all in what your preference is, honestly. What do we think? What do y'all have a vote on? I could do like a... Brownish black. <laughs> I could do the milk chocolate. That'd be too light. I do too. I think that needs to be darker. Mm -hmm. I think it needs to be darker. Let's see. It's hard to show up. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is an inanimate object, so it's a little different. Because, see, like a, a real strawberry. In pictures, they are black. In real life, they are black. Looks yellowy. Yeah, but that's a real strawberry. Look at clip art. You could do white. That's kind of cute. I said white first. Might as well step on in there and say hi to your friends. Maybe we'll try some of both. Yeah, I mean, milk chocolate may be okay. Good. 
Good morning. Good morning. What is the song? Rise and shine and give God our glory, glory. <laughs> my best friend's mother um, was one of my camp chaperones when I went to church camp as a youth. Um, and she would stay. She was in the room with us and like, I don't know eight girls um and she when it was time to get up that's what she would sing she would sing it at the top of her lungs <laughs> that song i thought there was actually a good morning song but i can't think of what good it morning. is good morning good morning i don't know, I, don't know. <laughs> I, I can't think of it right now all right y'all but Here's good morning happy tuesday Here's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to take the little dot maker thing. And I am going to oh. dip it into my paint. Okay, I hope this works. And I'm going to dip it onto my um, strawberry, but I'm going to pull it down slightly. A good morning song from Singing in the Rain. Mason. Okay, so I'm not like making a perfect little dot I'm kind of just make it bring it down to make it look more like a seed and this is the part that's going to take a little time uh, uh, Carolyn was asking if splattering the paint could be faster uh, you could definitely could try that. that but then I think it would look like a speckled egg mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, they don't have to be perfect, and you don't have to have them all over the egg like um, a real strawberry would be covered. Like, it doesn't have to be that extreme. I'm spacing them out about a half an inch or so. They're not all perfect. Put a bobby pin in it. <laughs> Sometimes less is more. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. Lori says they're having a blizzard in North Dakota. Hi, Cindy Lou, Terry Stone. Well, how cute. I love it when people call me that. <laughs> look, y'all. I think it's starting to look like a strawberry. I think I'm going to do one black and one white, and we'll see which one we like better. Joey said you girls are too cute. <laughs> I'm going to put my shorts on. I guarantee it. I got the window open. Yeah, I know, but you know me. I'm cold. Oh, goodness. <laughs> you are? I'm cool, yeah. Sorry, y'all. This is hard for me to do and watch the comments at the same time. I don't know why. Jeez. <laughs> Uh-oh. What's going on in the New York City subway? I don't know. And I started at the top, and I'm just sort of working my way down, just trying to kind of space it somewhat evenly. Kayla, where are you planning to put these? Oh, I don't know. This could could end up in an auction. Yeah. But these are, um, I said they would be really cute in a tiered tray. Mm -hmm. If you're doing strawberries. The white is cute on it. Or even, or even do like um, a little bowl of them would be cute. That's very true, Terry. Terry said sesame seeds and glue them on. 
<laughs> oh my word, she wants to give somebody a stroke. <laughs> well, that would work, but it would, it might take a little longer. Might take you a hot minute. Yes, Mary Lee Davis. Absolutely. That would be cute in the back of a truck. <clears throat> I almost got this one done. Okay, there we go. <coughs> so there's our white one. I'm gonna set this one aside. And we'll do a black one and we'll kind of see which one we like best. Something's going on in New York. Please Google. pray for the poor people in New York. So sad, something's happened. Well, what happened y'all? I'm, I'm gonna look it up. Okay. So I think kind of the best way is just sort of go all the way around, just spacing every half inch. And then when you come down, go in between those. Oh, shooting. Oh, and explosion in the subway. Oh, Ugh. no. What is this world coming to? We got a stars party going. Yay. All right, keep them going, Trisha. Share them on. Stars party. What tool are you using, Kayla? Um, Sarita, I uh, I don't really know. Somebody sent this to me. It's it's used to make dots. You could also use the end of a paintbrush if you don't have one of these. I'm gonna show at least thirteen. Mm. Yeah. Are you going to share them on or you want me to? You go ahead. You're better at that. I like the black as well. So I like them both. We'll do something, a different one too. I may do gold because I think they are sort of like a golden color. So I don't know. Yeah, I think you're, you're up. You can do lots of different options as far as the paint color goes. Yeah. This one is ending up with a little bit less um, seeds as the white one, but that's all right. It might be an embossing tool, whoever said that. I don't, I like I said, I honestly don't really know what it is. They say a Mandela dotting tool. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Mary says throw them in a blender and make a daiquiri. <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> okay. So there's our black one. They're starting to come together. Let's try, just because we've, we've got them, let's try one more different color. And I'm going to mix... I'm gonna mix two colors for this one. I'm gonna mix Golden Sunset and Milk Chocolate, okay? To try and get it very similar to 
what an actual strawberry looks like. So a little bit of the yellow and just a little tiny bit of the brown. Might need a little more, we'll see. Yeah, it needs some more brown. Thank you for the stars, y'all. Okay. Kind of a deep mustardy color. Okay. Let's do it again. We'll do our little ones now. Should be a little harder to do, probably. Just made a mess. All fixed. This, I like this color too. This looks a little bit more authentic, I think, than the white and the black. But I think it could go either way. This one's a little bit more, the small one's a little bit more difficult. don't really have anywhere to rest your hand. Debbie, the eggs are, these right here, the little ones, are made of like, they're kind of like plaster eggs. Um, and the other ones are plastic. These here, the smaller ones, came from Hobby Lobby. But it was last year not this year when I got them I don't remember if they had them this year or not and then the bigger ones came from Michael's Can't wait to get these finished. They're gonna be so cute. All right. I think. I think that one's good. So what do y'all think? What's your favorite color so far? Do we like the black, the white, or the gold? And be sure you're doing it in the right direction because your seeds, the top needs to be up and the pointy side needs to be down, just like the strawberry. So you wanna kinda of go in that same direction. Jody likes the yellow. Nuri likes black. They got all kinds of different. They all have a different opinion. Yep. I think that's why, you know, you can do... It doesn't all have to be exactly the same. I mean, like I said, when I Googled it... 
there was all different colors. Some were white, some were black, and some were this sort of uh, goldeny brown color. Seen that pop up? And I thought, oh, we got another one, but no, it'll be me. You're sharing a link to this tool? Yeah. What do they call it? It's embossing. Crafter Square Embossing Stylus. But it can also be used for painting dots or blending scenes and clay projects. Hmm. It says. It's a multi-use tool. Yes. I think I like the yellow ones. Yeah, I, I might be leaning towards the yellow too. <laughs> Mary Leanies to share chocolate covered strawberries. Mmm. Yum. Hungry, so she went and grabbed them. Yum, yum. Sounds yum-o. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you all for hanging in there with me. We're almost done. few more. Did you say something? I was just going to tell you, I posted a blog last night. Mom's got a new blog up, y'all. I'll be sending out a message today. Be sure to check that out if you are not signed up yes. for our text alerts for the blog. Be sure to do that. It's different than the live. So be sure to send Text the word blog to 800-859-3831. If you have signed up for text alerts for live updates, you need to also sign up for the blog if you would like those updates as well. You need to do both. Okay. So, we got those painted. Now. Ads all over the place. Mm-hmm. I've seen that in our blog. Oh, Yeah. And on the website. You might say that, that, you know, we now have ads on our website and our blog. We appreciate visits. Yeah, so y'all, um, you know, we've talked a little bit on here about how you might see ads pop up. Um, and we've asked you all to kind of be patient about that because it is because of those ads that we get paid. Um, outside of the, the stars that you all send to us, the ads bring us income. Um, it's the same thing for the blog. So the blog is up and there is ads on the blog. So just understand that the blog, the ads are there in order to help us make money. Okay. I think the only way we make money is if they actually click. Oh, really? I think on the blog. Hmm. But I may be wrong. I feel like it would be with views. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to start with this white one. I just wanted to make sure that it's dry. You might want to give these some time to dry like a couple of hours. Since we did do little dots, you want to make sure you're not going to um, smear it. 
but we don't have that kind of time, you know, to wait. So I'm going to go ahead and pop off my dowel rod. Now, yeah, we do make money on page views. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for this one, this is the easiest one. I have got some leaves. These are just silk leaves from off of, um, another, you know, like a flower, um, a silk flower from like Dollar Tree, something like that. So we're going to use that. And I'm trying to decide what I want to do for this stem. What do I want to do for this stem? I'm leaning towards Seriously? Um, okay, so I think I'm going to use a dowel. This is a, or a skewer, rather. And I think that it'll just fit right in here. I'm going to cut off one of the tops of one of these. So I can kind of glue this right in here to go the opposite direction. So I'm going to take a little hot glue... Stick this in here. Here, Mama wishes. I don't care, Mama wishes. But it shows that. <laughs> okay. So we've got this right here. I'm going to cut this little top. Okay. Now, there might be other options for the stem, but for this, this is what I'm going with right now. And I'm going to go ahead and just put some hot glue right here on the top. Somebody must be confused. All right. You can kind of even, like, turn it a little bit. Is this here? Beth. Somebody says Beth there. Paula, I don't know who Beth is. Might be thinking about somebody else. Okay, so here is this one. We're going to go ahead and grab some green paint and paint the stem. I'm just going to grab a couple of them and we'll just make it until it looks right. So this one here is Marsh Green by Apple Barrel. And this one here is Spring Green by Anita's. Just grab a little paintbrush. I'm going to start with the Marsh Green, see how it looks. And I'm going to paint over the stem just a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. I might add a little of this other one just to lighten it a smidge. Okay. And there is our first strawberry. Okay. So that is the option to do it with the silk leaves. All right. So I just literally glued them on there super simple. These eggs right here are about three inches probably. The other eggs are smaller. They're more normal size. All right, let's, let me show you the other way to do the top. Okay, set that aside. So the other option is felt. And with this, I am go going to literally um, hand cut this because I just feel like that's the best thing to do. So I'm going to take a cup here and trace it, something round. 
I'm just using some green felt. even working not well not well at all okay and then I'm gonna take a smaller circle and put it right in the middle so I've got two circles here Now you could make yourself a little template if you want, but strawberries aren't perfect, right? So, you know, just go for it. I'm gonna cut this out just to give myself some space. So what I'm gonna do is start cutting leaves out, but I want my leaves to end at this inner circle, okay? And I want my outside leaves to end about at this circle. So. I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna start kind of cutting leaves shapes. Almost like we're making a, um, like a little flower or something, if that makes sense. Okay, just like that. So it doesn't have to be exact. Each of your leaves can look a little bit different some of them can be a little wider than others. You can cut different shapes instead of just a traditional petal-like shape. This is what we end up with. All right, I'm gonna flip it over. I need to dry this one, it still looks wet. So I'm hoping this will be the right size for this larger one. Oh, definitely Donna for the dough bowl. That would be adorable in a dough bowl. Alrighty. Hopefully This is dry enough. Pop off that um, skewer and let's see here. Oh yeah, I think I like the felt better. Look at that y'all. How cute is that gonna be? So before I put that on, we need to do the stem. And I'm trying to decide, do I want to do the skewer again or do I want to try something else? The other thing I was curious about is an actual like flower stem might work as well. Here is like a little I bet this would work. I'm going to cut this is just a little um, tulip stem. And I'm gonna put a little hole inside, just a little slit, okay, inside my topper. Go ahead and put some hot glue down. <laughs> And I'm gonna stick this little stem in there 
just like we did the dowel. Nikki said use the Christmas tree hooks we got in our goodie bags. Oh yeah. I feel like we need something a little bit thicker than that. Why is jute? Let's see. So then I'll just take some hot glue, put it all around. Stick this right through. Probably should have done that before I did the hot glue. How cute. I think it's a little too long. I'm going to cut it down just a smidge. And then we can also paint it so that it matches the green just a little bit better. And we're also going to do flowers. Don't forget. Okay. There we go. What do we think, y'all? Are they looking like strawberries? Okay, so for this one, we need it to be a little bit smaller. Our um, leaves need to be a little smaller. I'm curious. Should the leaves be, like, coming up? Oh, I, I guess just whatever, yeah. right? All right. Let's do a smaller... Find a smaller circle. All right, I'm going to do the Mrs. Myers cleaner bottle. I'm just going to draw a circle in the middle. Okay. I like the felt better than the silk blue. I agree. I think I do too. Okay. And it doesn't matter how many petals you have on your topper. Cut it until it looks good. All right, last one. Okay. Let's see how this one looks. Oh my goodness, the little ones are precious. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use this smaller stem. And for this one, I'm gonna fold or bend the end to give me a little bit of something to glue to the actual strawberry. Okay, like this. Again, we'll do a hole. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this through like that. And then just put some hot glue. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and trim this down just a little bit. At that. 
how cute those are. Okay, let's go ahead and do our white flowers. So I'm gonna take these little, these little um, flowers that I have. I'm gonna grab three of them. I think these came from Pop Shelf. They are not beads, so they don't have any holes in them. They're just plain old little flowers. Paint these white. And you know what? Let's, let's again, let's make life easier on us. Stick these onto the end of a dowel so we can hold on to them. I don't care how the bottom looks. I want to be sure to get the edges painted as well. I think these little flowers are gonna really make these adorable. I can't catch your whole camera inside of there. You can't? Mm -hmm. So after we've got them painted white, we're just going to come back with some yellow and do the middle. Okay. Let me find, I don't want to use that yellow. I think I want to use a brighter yellow. I think I'm going to do this one right here. This one I got at Dollar Tree. It's Martha Stewart. Um, multi-surface satin and I just happened upon it one day at Dollar Tree. Thank you, Angel. Absolutely, Anne. You could totally do that. Make some flowers out of felt. Alright, you know what? Let me just actually use, um, I'm going to use this and I'm going to do it just right into the yellow paint and just make a little yellow circle right in the middle. also use the end of a brush again. Okay, let me dry those. And we're pretty much done, y'all. I know, Tracy, it was, it was just a random thing. I think the small ones are going to be my favorite. Okay. They're probably not completely dry, but we're gonna go with it. Peel those off, and I'm just gonna take the little flower and just glue it right onto the top of our strawberry. Look how adorable.
think they're cute. And if you had some bigger ones too, I think bigger ones would be really cute on the larger um, strawberries. y'all they're all done so I just went ahead and just did the three of them but we did multiple different um ways so you can kind of decide how you like it this is the one with the yellow seeds and the um green felt topper and then this one here has the black seeds, the green felt topper, and the larger um, tulip stem. And then this one has the white seeds with the silk um, green leaves. And then this is a wooden dowel for the stem. So lots of different options. Mary Lee Davis says she likes the white seeds. I don't, I honestly cannot decide. I think the black's my least favorite. Um, I think I like the white or the yellow the best. I think these two are my favorites. Black doesn't really pop. But the black, it's pretty. It just reminds me a little bit too much of a watermelon. Mm -hmm. So, so there you go, y'all. Strawberries made from Easter eggs. Why not? Why not? Um, I'm glad you all enjoyed this little craft. I hope that you all have a very fabulous day. Make yourself some strawberries. Um, and I'll see you all later on today. Talk to you soon. Bye.